Zondo will represent his country again when the Proteas take on a visiting Netherlands side in a three-match one-day international series at the end of November. Zondo's last appearance for the Proteas was in the 2018 ODI series at home against India. Zondo's name has been one of the focal points at the Cricket South Africa SJN hearings, which have been set up to investigate the injustices that cricketers and administrators faced in the past. The 31-year-old Dolphins captain says the selection debacle of being left out of a Proteas team in a series against India in 2015 has made him a better cricketer and even better person since then. And I think uh, that sticks out is that, you know, I think as humans we've got a lot more control over our own destinies than we, um, than we think. Um, I think the, how you respond to the things that happen to you in life or in your career or in wherever it might be, how you respond is actually quite important. Um, once something has happened, um, you know, you can't take it back, really. Uh, you can't go back and undo it in a sense because that time has gone, but you can correct it. Um, and how you respond as a person who's, um, who's in the situation is, is key because uh, that, you know, that almost determines the road that you take. Um, you can allow it to break you. You can allow it to make you as well. It's up to you. Um, so I would say from that experience, it's more, look, anything can happen at any time um, to you um, and for you as well. So as uh, for me, it's, it's, it's one of those and just making the most of every single opportunity one has at professional level, at international level, or anything in life, really, just to, 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 to save the moment and be present. I think that's one thing it's also taught me, um, is to be present and enjoy that moment fully. So every ball I face at training, I want to get better. Even if it's 1%, every ball I face in the, um, in the games or that I'm fielding, or if, even if the captain decides to give me the ball, then that I'm bowling, um, you know, I cherish that moment and I want to make the most of it because it's experience gained. Um, and, you know, once you've gone through something, you can take it, put it in the, in the bank and know that, look, I've gone through this. So if ever, you know, you, you need to draw on that experience as a cricketer, then you, you have it, you've done it before. So I think for me, it's, it's just, knowing that not giving up and uh, continuing and that you are you are stronger than you think as a human being and that you can achieve a lot more uh, just by how you, a lot more than you think by, by uh, how you respond as a human being to whatever situations you are dealt with. Since that ordeal, Zondo has grown in leaps and bounds both on and off the field. He has been in tremendous form with both the shorter and longer versions of the game which has seen him force his way back into national selection. Off the field, Zondo's voice of the voiceless has grown even stronger. He was recently elected as the South African Cricketers Association president, something that has helped him find a balance between life and cricket. I think it's just, uh, I mean, I've been playing at franchise cricket, um, and uh, with, our, with our franchise team changing personnel and the new structure, it's uh, and the role that I've taken on has been one of a senior player um, in the Dolphins team. It's just almost helped me to uh, almost focus on on others. Um, it's helped me to, I would say, be more of a, a mentor in a sense um, to the younger guys that still need help um, when it comes to uh, learning the game or small little tricks and you know um, and trades of the of, of the cricket profession. Um, so I think helping them out uh, also helps me out in a sense. Um, you find that you you end up, you know, helping the guys and you're reminding yourself while you're helping them, you know, you just of the habits that you need to continue to do as a professional. Because um, sometimes after you've done something for so long, you take it for granted that you, you know, you can take it for granted that you, you know, so much about the game um, at that certain level. So it's it's just, that's the one thing that I think has definitely helped me um, that also sticks out. Um, and also just having to set the example in the team in terms of performances and, you know, asking the guys to uh, to win games. And it's always easier for them to listen to you when you are doing it and showing it, you know, you just, uh, uh, in terms of actions and not just words.
uh, yeah, and then as a person, obviously, uh, became SACA president. Um, that's been exciting. It's also been challenging. But I work with a very um, good team at SACA, um, and they've, uh, they've made things very easy for me as well. Kaya Zondo has experienced the inequalities of playing professional sport in the country. And with his name being the bone of contention at Cricket South Africa's social justice and nation-building hearings, it's almost a miracle that he's fought his way back into national contention again. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I'm Pilar Sanders in Johannesburg. Mikey, let me hit you at the park again.